So starting off with uh, the 10th fret on the D string, nice little slide into that if you can. Then we're going to the 8th fret on the 3rd string and then the 8th fret on the 2nd string. So we get... Now try and use the same finger for the two eighth frets and just roll it across like that. So you get... Um, if possible, for the picking side of things, you want to try and use hybrid picking so you get a nice sort of fleshier tone with uh, your finger rather than your plectrum being used for this. So, so you can work on the dynamics with these licks as well. Um, play around with it, do what you will, but it's, it's just nice to try different things. So, so plectrum hits the uh, D and then you use your fingers for... So you can roll off the attack a little bit. Okay. So after you've done the 8th fret on the 2nd string, you want to make sure that you are um, adding in a little bit of vibrato into that. Nice, subtle, smooth vibrato. Then we've got a hammer on pull off on the 8th fret, 9th fret, 8th fret, and then you're going to pick the 10th fret on the 3rd string. So that's 8, 9, 8, hammer pull on the 2nd string, straight to the 10th fret. So you get like that. Again, if you can pick this 2nd string with your finger, uh, middle finger, and then, uh, I'll try and get both in short actually, pick the 2nd string with your middle finger, um, hammer on pull off, and then use your plectrum just to hit the G string on the 10th fret, that'd be cool, so you get... Um, after that, you've got back to the 8th fret on the 2nd string, um, with the same finger, roll across to the 3rd string and do a little blues curl, so you get this to the 10th fret on the 4th string. So. When you're on the 10th fret on the 4th string, you're going to be pulling that off to the 8th fret and then sliding back up to the 10th fret with your first finger. So you get... And that's loop 1. Right, um, lick two, uh, we're starting again, this is the first position of the pentatonic again. Um, so what we're going to try and do once more, same as the first one, is try and bring in that hybrid pick in just a little bit. So, um, yeah, so we've got a slide into the tenth fret again. Um, this is coming in uh, on the second beat, so you've got a triplet feel, so it's on the second triplet. Eighth note triplet. Um, we've got a few staccato notes on this as well, where you're going to pick the note and cut it off short straight away. So <coughs> the way to do that is to pick the note, obviously, with your finger or plectrum. I'm using my finger for this 8th fret. And then you're going to stop it with your hand on the string or take your finger slightly off the pressure. Um, so we've got a slide to the 10th fret 4th string. Then it's the staccato note on the 8th fret 3rd string. Um, hammer on, pull off, and then uh, on the 8th and 10th fret of the 3rd string, so that's 8, 10, hammer, pull off to the 8, and then to the 10th fret on the uh, D string, straight to the 8th fret, 2nd string, to the 10th fret, 3rd string, where you're going to add your vibrato into it, so you get... Really play about with this with your plectrum and your fingers, see which one or both, if any, um, will work better for you. So it just gives you nice subtle tones. So you can hear the difference just there. Um, so to finish it off, yeah, you're holding the 10th fret, and there's a short, sharp staccato note on the 8th fret of the 3rd string. So in slow, you get one, two. Okay, 
There we go. Okay, so leg three, um, taken from, I think it's one minute 29 um, from my jamming video to the backing track of this, um, which is the C minor mellow. We've got, start off with, a hammer on from the eighth fret on the D, on the fourth string, to the tenth fret. Then the same on the third string, so eight to ten hammer. Back to the tenth, uh, the eighth fret on the same string, so we get this. Again, you can either use your plectrum or you can use pick for the D string and then your finger for the G. Up to you what you do. Um, okay, so we've got then we've got this short little burst of a, a slide from the tenth to the 11th, back to the 10, and then pull off to the 8, all on the 3rd string. So you get this. Great one to practice. Um, so we get... So you end up with a 10th fret on the 4th string. Um, then we've got a little slide into the 8th fret from the 7th, so a pre-slide. So you're coming from the blues note. Across, that's on the second string by the way. Across to the third string tenth fret, uh, fourth string tenth fret, and then the third string eighth fret. And to finish, we've got tenth fret on the uh, third string. Uh, staccato note, probably. So. So on the eighth fret. Um, just before the last note, and in that vibrato, so there you go. fret full tone bend, let it down, off to the 16, off to the 15, uh, second string, so then you're back to the 16, 15, and then 17 on the third string, and then it's a, a semitone bend on the 15th fret of the second string, let that down again, to the uh, 13, to the 11, so you get... Back to the 13 with a little slide on the second string. Then you've got this nice little run of 13, 15, 16, back to the 15. So. Then on the second string again, you've got 15, 16, and 18, back to the 16. Uh, so that part will be... Uh, Uh, next part comes in with this hammer on pull off um, on the 15, 16, 15, and then to this 17 on the third string. Uh, then you've got 15 on the second string, 16 second string, 17 third string. Um, and then we've got quite a nice little run coming down, so coming down the, the uh, fourth pentatonic. Um, actually, it's a minor. Got a nice little run. Here we go. It goes 16 on the first, uh, second string, then 15 on the first string, and then 17 on the third, uh, 15 on the third, 17 fourth, back to the 15 third, 17 third, 15 third, 17 fourth, 15 fourth, 17 fourth. 15 third and then 17 third to finish. So that part is. I'll do it slowly again.
Joey.